So I was interviewing for residency recently, and in one of the sessions with one of the docs, he asked me to teach him something. So I taught him about Siri shortcuts, and that's what we're going to talk about today. Siri shortcuts came out in 2018. It used to be workflows, but eventually was rebranded as shortcuts. And it opened up the user to a bunch of granular functions within both the iOS system and the iOS system apps. And the idea was to enable the user to create custom workflows or automations that allowed you to get a bunch of tasks done in a row. Now, when it first came out, it wasn't too impressive. When I messed around with it, I was comparing it to Google Assistant, which I thought was a lot more helpful. But over the past five years, they've added a bunch of functions and performance improvements that have made it a pretty good day-to-day -day mainstay in my workflow. So let's talk about three shortcuts that I use to jumpstart my day. Now the first question you wanna ask yourself is why would you wanna use shortcuts in the first place? There's a big learning curve. And I think the answer is actually pretty simple. It's to save time on tasks that you do daily. One of the things I've learned about owning a smartphone is that every time you pick it up, it's an opportunity to get distracted. And so I've become pretty mindful of when I'm picking my phone up, why I'm using it, what I'm currently trying to do, whether it's relaxing, spending time with family and friends, or working. And Shortcuts is really helpful in this regard because it takes care of a bunch of tiny little tasks that you do all the time that are honestly opportunities to get distracted in the first place. So let's start with my first shortcut, which is a simple alarm shortcut. Now, if you're like me and you have a lot of trouble getting out of bed, you use between four to 10 alarms every morning to get up. Now, eventually I do get up on most days and as I'm brushing my teeth, doing my morning routine, showering, uh, I have a bunch of alarms constantly going off in the background because I have snoozed alarms, I have other alarms that are yet to go off that I forgot to dismiss, and it's a whole mess and it's a very loud and annoying start to your day. Now normally you have to go into the clock app and individually toggle all the alarms off. I created a shortcut that allows you to just hit one button and that'll take care of all of that for you. It's a little tedious to set up as you have to add each alarm individually, and you do have to update it every single time you add a new alarm or delete an old alarm. But if you're like me and you don't really have any more alarms to add because you've got pretty much every time block represented anyway, then this is a very helpful one-stop shop of like one tap and then you're done and you're good to go and your morning is very peaceful. So the next thing is reminders. And as I've mentioned before, I live and die by my calendar. I also live and die by reminders. Now, one of the changes that Apple made that I actually don't love is they got rid of the ability to see your calendar and reminders in the same app. Now, Google Calendar allows you to do this, but I use Apple Calendar for a few main reasons. The first is that they have this travel time feature that allows you to see how long it takes to get from one point to the other visually representing your calendar, which is nice. It also is available on all my devices, which is honestly the most important thing. And it works well with Siri and shortcuts. So anyway, uh, the calendar app doesn't allow you to see reminders anymore. I created a shortcut that allows you to kind of recreate that feel. Now what it does is it syncs your reminders that are due for, the cert like for a certain day and adds them into your calendar when they would be due so that when I have like a free block, I can see what I should be doing and not get distracted by all the possible options of what I could be doing. And I found that to be really helpful in keeping me on task and moving forward throughout the day. And finally, the morning briefing. Now this is a really elegant shortcut that I created during my third year of med school. And it kind of was born from the idea that I do the same five or so things every morning. You know, check the weather, check my calendar, try to get to work, uh, check my commute, and then play music. I just created a shortcut that takes care of all of these things for me so I can continue to focus on what I really need to be doing, like making lunch or studying or whatever it is. Now it's one tap and as you'll see, it kind of just goes sequentially. The first thing is it tell me, it'll tell me the date, the weather, the chance of rain, uh, how long my commute is. And then the next step is visually showing me my calendar so I can see both my reminders and my tasks. And then once I dismiss that, it'll actually automatically start a Google Maps navigation to work or home or wherever I'm going. And then it'll cap it all off by playing my Spotify playlist. So the nice thing about this shortcut is that it in addition to getting all these objectively important things done, it uses not Apple Maps or Apple Music, but Google Maps and Spotify, which are my two preferred softwares for those kinds of things. So hopefully you've seen that shortcuts can be pretty powerful, especially if you know how to use them. 
I think a lot of the time goes into learning what the commands do. But my main piece of advice is if you're thinking about using shortcuts, it's more helpful to think in terms of outputs instead of inputs. So think about the result you want first, and then the inputs that go into it kind of come logically. So like if you're trying to create a shortcut that can make an event for you in your calendar, it's gonna to wanna to know the name of the event, the duration, the timing, as well as the potentially the location. And so kind of getting familiar with what information you need to get a certain output kind of helps. I've attached these three shortcuts below, but I'm more interested in learning what you guys use shortcuts for, how you're planning on using it, things that have been really helpful for you, as I'm always looking to learn new ideas and kind of improve my own workflow. I really appreciate all the love you guys have been showing the channel recently. Uh, we just passed 600 subscribers and hopefully we're on our way to 1,000, which would be insane. So if you like the video, definitely subscribe. I've got more coming out soon. And it lets me know that I'm making the kind of videos that you guys appreciate and are interested in. That's been it, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.